So I know a lot of y'all watching this video are either aspiring data analyst or you're in a statistics or related type major and you're really just interested in the space. And in my last video, I had a conversation with a math and statistics major. So you have to watch that video next after you watch this one. But we were talking about exactly what I do as a data analyst. Technically, I'm a population health analyst, but exactly what I do as a data analyst at an insurance company. So I'm going to put that clip on now and I'll see you over there in the next video with a conversation with Adam. Yeah, I mean, like, so you said you're a data analyst, right? What do you deal with? I mean, so, you said R, but right. Okay. So my technical role is called population health analyst. So there, there's plenty of different analyst teams. Some are looking at cost forecasting. Some are looking at different providers. Some are looking at, and by providers, I mean, basically hospital networks, but my team focuses specifically <clears throat> on like our members. So people who own our health insurance, looking at their health over time. Um, we use a lot of different groupers, which we either develop ourselves. And by grouper, I mean, that's like, could be like a condition-based grouper. It could be a social determinant of health-based grouper. So like uh, poorer regions versus, you know, people that, that make more money in different, in different areas of the country. Um, but most of them are health-based. And a lot of what we do to kind of develop those is we have access to every single insurance claim that goes through our company. So on those claims, there's a plethora of information around diagnosis codes, what they came into the hospital for, procedure codes, what they actually did to them, how much they spent, what they spent it on, how much money got, gets from that claim, how much goes to the provider. Um, I mean, there's 300 rows, I think, just in the, the main claims table. And then we have eight um, subsidiary tables that are also picking up information. So I'm sure there's other, other analyst teams that use all of that, but we really focus on population health. And our main goal with that is to either A, develop programs that help those members get healthier or help those members spend less, or B, track those programs, make sure they're actually working, make sure providers are getting members into those programs if they fit the criteria. And so we're using different KPI metrics. Um, so a lot of what my team does is develops that track those okay. KPI metrics, making sure they're hitting cost targets, make sure they're hitting utilization targets. And what that means is like how often they're going to the hospital. Maybe we we'll want them to go to the hospital more, even though it might be more expensive right now, they might get the care that they need, which will save us money in the long run. So that's kind of what I do. And I say I use R a lot because I spend most of my time working on kind of a master dashboard that we started building a year or two ago around when I started. Um, and so that's, it's supposed to be used by other analysts at first to right. help them get to insights quicker and track KPIs. Um, but eventually we'd like, you know, kind of roll that out to the entire business. You know, they can use that to um, develop insights themselves, create programs themselves. Uh, maybe they have a specific group that they're already interested in and they can just use that existing group in the tool to see kind of what they're doing across time in terms of spend or conditions they might have it's, or utilization. It's very fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like doing that. Um, that's probably my favorite part of the job. Yeah, like absolutely. That, I think I'm more of the end of the, um, I wouldn't really call it programming, but dashboard building as opposed to um, kind of ad hoc analysis. Mm. Sometimes with ad hoc analysis, you can spend a week doing something. And then after you hand it off to somebody, you don't really hear anything back. At least with this, it's like super quick feedback, which I like, um, even if it's just, internally with other analysts that I talk to a lot. So um, yeah, that was a long winded way, but that, that's kind of what I do as a population. Outbreak. Yeah.